So if you pick yourself up a Canon R7, or even an R5, R6, R6 Mark II, or an R10, and you wanna know how to use the autofocus system for it, or you're just having problems with the autofocus system as you're trying to use it, or you're just curious how I use it, well, this video is for you, so let's talk about it. To get the most out of this video, you need to set your camera per one of the setup guides that I have on this channel for the R5, the R6 Mark II, the R7, and the R10 all have setup guides. They're all pretty much the same. They work the same for the R3 if you have that camera also. So we have two things we want to do with these two buttons. The first one is a single point, the star button on here. And I'll refer to that in this video through single point or spot focus. And what that does, it goes to that spot that I'm setting the focus point to. And I want to focus on that plane. That way I can either pre-focus for something flying in or flying out, or I can focus on a part of an animal or a tree or a limb that will get me on the focal plane of my animal that I want the eye focus, the other tracking to take over for, or just use that focus plane. The second one is gonna be the AF on button, which is our animal detect eye autofocus. That's what these cameras are so good with. That's gonna be the one we're gonna use a lot of the time. So what that one does, anything that enters the frame, it's gonna be looking for that animal. That's what it's there for. So we have, again, we have the two buttons, AF on for animal eye detect, and we have the star button for spot focus to get to a plane. So we're gonna talk about spot autofocus first. So there is a box out here, a power box out here. And let's say we're waiting for a bird to land on this box. So we don't have anything to focus with the animal eye detect yet. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use a spot focus to go to that plane and stop. And when you do this, you only hit this button for just a second. So let's do that now. So let's hit the, the spot focus, boom, we're on that box. Now you notice that only went blue for a second. When you see it blue, that means I'm hitting the button for the focus. So I hit the star button, jumps to it, I get off. I don't keep holding that down the whole time. If I do, it's not really doing anything because it's just going to that single point stopping, all right? So let's, now let's talk about animal eye detect. Well, see, we've got this eagle up in the tree up here. So if we hit the AF on button, now he is stationary. So we're going to talk about a concept here. So if an animal is stationary, you don't want to hold the animal eye detect AF on button constantly. If you do, it can have a tendency to jump around because it's always looking for an eye. If the eagle moves his head a little bit, it may not focus his head anymore, his eye. It may jump somewhere else. So if you have a subject just like the seagull, he's not moving, you hit the eye autofocus and get off of it because he's not moving. You just want to get to that focal plane. So let's hit that now. Boom, grabbed his head. Here he just turned his head sideways. Grabbed his head, get off. See what happened? Almost, I held it almost too long and it started to try to find some other focus point. If you'll notice that it's for a little blur for just a second. Now we can take pictures all day long right now, as long as they don't move the camera and as long as that eagle doesn't move towards us or away from us or sideways. If he does those things, then we have to hit the eye focus again. But right now, we're good. We don't have to hit that auto eye focus. Any other focus system right now, as long as he doesn't move, I can take pictures, I can take pictures, I can take pictures. That's it, really nice. So that's the example, if you have an animal like this eagle here, that's sitting in the same plane, not moving, I auto check once, get off of it. So we see in this example, the ravens, they're moving left and right or forward or backwards from me. So in that case, if I hit the AF on button and let go, when I got the eye auto check on the animal, then he moves towards me or moves to the right, I'm gonna have a blurry picture on the next frame because he's changed his focal plane distance from me and the lens. So in that case, when a bird is moving in flight, walking, or an animal or whatever, you have to hold the AF on button for the whole time you want the autofocus to be engaged and to stay in the focal plane with the eye. So that's what you do there. You hold the see how it's blue here. That's because I'm keeping the focal plane on the animal and staying with him as he moves throughout the frame. And this shot of the eagle flying away from me, hit the AF on button, you have to stay on it. You can't touch it and let go. If you do, you're gonna have a fuzzy bird. Now I would never take a photo of a bird flying away from me, but this is an example showing you a bird in flight with the autofocus grabbing hold of it as flying away from you, changes distance. So let's talk about when we have limbs or an object that's in front of your subject, your subject's behind it. And you need to focus on that subject, but when you hit your autofocus, the AF on button, it's gonna grab the subject in front of it and not know where the eagle is behind it, like we have here. So with this guy, you can see it's all blurry. 
But the really dark color limbs in this you see here, that is the limbs he's on. Actually, his head's going really gold because it's sun setting right now. And these lighter limbs on the left, that dot, those are limbs in the foreground. So what happens? This is when we think the AF fails, but it's not failing. We're just telling it to do something that it can't do. So if we hit the AF on button, I should get the limbs that are in front of him. Let's see what happens. It did. You see it tried to grab him, but then it jumped back back to these limbs because it sees all these little dots and limbs and thinks maybe those are eyes or an animal. So it doesn't know what to do. So at this point, a lot of people say, hey, my autofocus failed. It didn't work. I can't hit that animal. Wrong. So here's how you overcome that. So what you do is you move your center points, that gray one, you move it to the limb. You'll see that brown, that's the limb that he's on. So let's move it over here. Let's hit the single point. Now we've grabbed the tree, the same tree that that eagle's on. Now we're not on the focal plane that it was trying to focus on before, we're back here on the focal plane that eagle's at. Now if we hit the eye to auto detect, it should grab that eagle because now it sees where the eagle is. Let's hit the atom eye detect, the AF on. Boom, we've got the head again. I gotta take that shot. That light's falling so beautiful across the eagle's head right now, but it's so far away, it's so small in the frame. So that's how you overcome limbs and structures that are in front of your eagle right now. Normally I wouldn't take a picture with this busy of an eagle shot, but that light is so pretty and the limbs behind it are fairly distracting, but I just think the light on that eagle is really pretty. It's a little small in the frame, so the only thing I'd use, I wish I was a lot closer to him, but there is no way I could get closer to this eagle. There's waist deep snow between me and him, so that's what it is. So yeah guys, it's that simple. That's all you gotta do for this camera to use this autofocus system is work between the AF on button, which is the animal eye detect, subject detect, and the star button, single point. Interchange those two things all the time to keep yourself on the focal plane of the animal. A good example of the way I've used this a lot of times this time of year with the snow is I'll get this barrel, this lens lower down where the subject is blurred partially by the snow bank. And what I do is I want to focus through that snow bank to give that nice blurry soft feel like in those fox pictures from the last video or a couple of videos before this one. And sometimes when I'm doing that and I hit the analyte tech, it jumps to the snow bank in front of me instead of where the fox was. So to overcome that, because maybe he gets his head down too low or even the ptarmigan video, some had that real fuzz around their face. To overcome that, I use a single point. I hit the back of the animal. I want to hit the back of the animal or the tail or the ears of that fox. Now I'm back on his focal plane. I can hit the AF on button again to lock onto his eye or his head again. And then I let go because the animal's not moving or moving a little bit. And then I take my picture. So that's how you use that system. Very, very simple. So guys, I hope that worked out well for you. I hope you understand how now how to use these two buttons in the field, how to focus on a subject like that. Single point, animal detect, use those two interchangeably, you should be good. If you have any questions about this or you want to know more about how to use this, or you want me to shoot another video that shows you a lot more examples, I could do that. Just let me know in the comments or if you're confused about what I'm doing here. But again, follow the setup video, use those two buttons. You should be golden and it should work out well for you. Until the next video, guys, take care. If you like this video and you're enjoying the channel and would like to help support the channel, click the join button on the channel page to become a member. It's as low as a dollar a month, or just hit the super thanks button. This just helps us rent or buy equipment and just get to the locations to film the content. Again, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, watch the video to the end and all those things. Oh, and we hit 4,000 subscribers, we'll do another print giveaway and we're only 500 from that number right now. Until next time, stay safe and go run that shutter. Mm -hmm.